Well, pleasant good evening. Welcome to our flagship program. That's Intel Sports on the board. This is the main edition of the program. Of course, my name is Moses Gazo. And today on the program, as we said, this is Liberia's first exclusive sports television in Liberia. On the board places emphasis on Liberian football, going deep into what's happening inside the dressing room. What is about the football association or our dearest national team, the Lone Star, the nation's prior and joy? Specifically today, we've decided to go deep inside one football club. As last time, and never give up, and decided to emerge in Liberian football, talking about Watanga FC. We've, we've invited his president, he's also an executive committee member, talking about an ESCO member, I don't know, that's Anthony Flood, uh, not Flood, but uh, I think is, uh, always miss this one. Welcome to Honorable Intel Sports. Thank you, thank you, Moses, and thanks to the Intel Sports uh, family. I'm so delighted, I'm happy to be on this. Uh, today. It's, it's a pleasure. And let's, let's tell you that, in fact, uh, he's the chairperson. The Football Association just constituted its uh, standing committees, a statutory committee. He's the chairperson on, on the, the judiciary, uh, legal committee of the Liberia Football Association, as well as player status committee. And he's co chair of finance, by the way. He got some financial, great financial experiences going to the Football Association. So, going to be diving quickly into. Watanga FC, um, 25 years, 1997, the club was founded. They went forward, chasing to West, almost three uh, League Cup finals. But yet, they failed to get there. You spark out from nowhere, took over the club. You gave them what they desire. You gave them a breath. This year, uh, we saw that Watanga fans were huge. They turned out in a fashion that nobody ever expected. Sure, sure. And firstly, uh, you know, Watanga is a Pinsville based club, and so we we slightly out of Pinsville, but mm -hmm. we still consider this area as a, as a territory of Watanga. Knowing the history of so Watanga, Watanga was established uh, not too far from here, uh, the Watanga base, uh, okay. just a stone throw away from here. And just as it says in 1997, we've been in search of civil war. And 25 years, and we were able to to at least finally lay our hands on, on the on, on, on the, the championship after great precedents, you know, precedents I mean, like um, the likes of Eddie Bevin Snow Jr., the likes of Musa Asambility, uh, the likes of uh, Marshal Kimia. You know, these are guys who, who did great, I mean, great um, initiatives, and they did what they could do. But, uh, we are very proud to be a history breaker of Watanga. We are very proud today to say that we've landed Watanga the first ever uh, cup and it came not on a silver platter. I say congratulations because it took, it took men uh, to feel along the road, but you came and delivered. But uh, what other clubs uh, should learn from Watanga FC? Because 25 years is not a small number of years. Um, a mid-table, uh, just on a halfway of the season, change your manager, and still you still fought on to win the league on the last day of, of the league season. Yeah, so there are a lot of things that, that our clubs will learn. First thing, I, I took over Tanga in 2017, and I had a five-year strategic plan, and my five-year plan was um, to ensure that in a in, in, in five-year period, Tanga graduated from the stage of just being a male competitor to being um, a team to reckon with. And so, what did I did? What did I do? I, I first I looked at the structure of Batanga and institute a board that we oversee uh, for aspects of, of, of the game, and then we look at different players that we thought to bring in in different departments. And as you can see, uh, we had a long way going, but we finally laying our hands on it because of consistency and persistency. I think that's what we need to learn. We learn that uh, we have a set of goals, and then we go for the goals. So that's what we did. The five-year strategy plan. What was what was key among them? So key among them was um, if you look at Watanga in the past, uh, Watanga have been considered the Everton of like soccer, and Everton is a team that don't get ready get there. Like, and now they are they are struggling relegation. But uh, if you look at Everton, they always been a team that will be mid 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 table team, and and Watanga have never been relegated. Watanga have always been that team. So what I did was look, what do we need to win to win the cup? So the first thing was we need a quality of players. After getting quality of players, what do we need? We need a coach. We need a coach with discipline. 
right? And then what else do we need? We need a structural administrative staff. What else do we need? We need consistent training, you know? And then uh, we need to say, look, the first year we can, we, um, all in all honesty, we cannot achieve this. We're not going to the second year, third year. You saw that the fourth year, we went closer by going to the ethical farmer. Yeah. And then the fifth year, uh, we definitely ran our hands on the cup. So, so yeah. That was happened. not definitely what the first are going to the cup finals. Um, no, was it for us? Yeah, the third time. Yeah. And they missed out. And uh, against the Rover Club Brewers, that was something of a heartbreak. I know we're in the stands. Everybody thought that with the performance of the team that season, uh, finishing at league, I think third on the league table and reaching the finals of the FA Cup was the last grabs of your first ever war. In, in, you know, it was that a disappointing moment at that period? Well, it was a disappointing moment, but uh, uh, we use it as a moment to build our strength and we use it as a moment to look at uh, what our deficiencies were and to strengthen those deficiencies to, to, to become champion today. So we, we spot so what the issues, what the issues were. Uh, if you look at Watanda last year, look at Watanda this year. It's Two different Watanga. So Watanga, which even though we wish the club fan, we wish the final, but we're not as uh, as structural as we are now. We're not as disciplined as we are. The players were not as disciplined as they are now. Uh, kudos to the coach, uh, our past coach, but uh, we want to say thanks to the winning coach. He brought a lot of changes into the team. And it's because of that today that we are successful. We're not just talking about the players getting onto the pitch to play the game. It's also about uh, looking at what were those uh, key factors uh, administratively. Uh, or say that the players were more motivated than they were before. Or say that they felt more connected to the team than they were before. Or say that the, the club management was able to bring in the kind of managers or the players that needed to deliver the results. So I think it's a combination of all three things that I spoke of. So we, we added more commitment to, to the team. We, we become closer to, 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 to the players, like um, family. We added more financial incentive to them as well. You will see that, look, we needed the last five games to win. It was, the last five games was most win game. And so we started running to and said, guys, what can we do? We said, look, increase our part time, you know, increase our incentive, increase our winning part time and see what happens. So we told it was normally we, we pay a thousand dollars if you win a game. Okay. And then we started stepping up to three thousand and then five thousand. That was that was times three. Yeah, times three, then five thousand the game before the final and the final was ten thousand. So does money really play a it key does. factor in, it, it in does. football? It does. I mean uh, you know, uh, in the past, another thing that happened in the past was what about Tanga win or Watanga lose the game, we gave them the same money, right? We gave mm -hmm. them a part time. You know, it was it fixed. Was, it was fixed. So the game against the MIFC. That was the FA Cup game, mm -hmm. and that was really a turning point for us. We, we lost that game to Nima Ezu, which was the second division, struggling team. And so I came back and said, look, I mean, why, why are we such a, such a game that we thought that we've won easily and go to the FA Cup final again and, play, and be talking about, about winning duels? But uh, uh, so, guys, if, if you don't mm -hmm. win, look, we, we won't give you that. If you draw, we give you half, and you, and you win, we give you. And so, so it plays a, it plays a motivation. Did you, did you put your sight on the, on the title? You said the five-year strategy play, you said in the fifth year, you wanted to be, sure. you wanted to be just, not just a participant, you want to be a contender. Mm -hmm. The beginning of the season, did you take into perspective that I'm going to this competition, I need to win it by all cost? Sure. You have Freeport FC at the top of the table for around uh, four to oh, five yeah. months. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, but even though Football FC was, was stopping, if you look at the, the start of the game, our first game ever, we won 3-0, uh, 3-0 against Neymar uh, uh, United. That was a caveat to our opponents that look, Watanga made me business. If you look at Watanga in the past, Watanga have always not been performing well in the first phase, but they will perform well, and certainly well in the second phase. And so if you look at this year, last, last, last year, we were joint group leader with Freeport FC at the at, at mid season. Yes. The only thing was that they, they were both in goals, the good difference. So you knew that look, this is a different Watanga. A Watanga that then it took a one point leap when, yes, you, when you settled to a goal as yes, well when yes, you eleven. Yeah, they did. But I mean, the first phase to see Watanga, you know, among the first three, it was very strange. That shows to everyone that Watanga meant business this way around. And and we saw that look, we have where it takes. Player by player, Watanga is, is technically the best team in Liberia. So there's no reason why we should not be winning silver Is that, Was that something you told the players? We told them, and then we beef up the squads. You know, uh, mid season we we we, we, we lost our experienced defender, uh, Avi Makone. He didn't play the entire season, but he he threw with us. He was very 
instrumental in the dressing room, motivational as well, and then he had to go mid-season. So quickly, what we did was to go for the best defender in the third division league. I mean, in the in the in the, uh, the county meet, okay. who was who plays Amara Kamara. Amara Kamara. I mean, very. He's just he's just, he's just eighteen fitter, years. Yeah, right? he just fitted into the he's system. He's eighteen. He, eighteen years fitted into the system, and then he brought us. That, that 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 attitude that we needed, that uh, winning spirit. So so that's yeah. what I, that's what I wanted to ask. What was the turning moment? Yeah. So the coming of 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 uh, of, of Amara, the rejuvenating of uh, uh, he 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 playing pan, pairing partner with a uh, 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 coin uh, uh, the young one. Okay. Yeah. And then you look at we also brought in uh, um, Sheik Sisse. He's also a young, young yeah. player. We brought him always coming for Abiba, right? For Abiba. So we brought two players for Abiba. And then if you look at Mark Gibson, Mark Gibson becomes a super sub who always comes from the bench and score a goal or get assist. So these players, so the bench actually won the league for us as well. So you see that. Yeah. So you have, you could have had a first 11 yeah, and, yeah. A, and a better reserve. And then, yeah, the equipment of the Choco Miles, like Square and Choco Miles. Was one all of the trophies in heaven that you can think about. So he was there as well, pushing our number nine. So he pushed, uh, uh, he, he, he presses but competition. So we have three number nine already with a person making four number nine. So he saw that there were competition in all departments of the team. There were competition in all departments of the team, and that really, really helped to push the players to that limit, and we got it. Before we talk about you going to Continental to represent Liberia at the country's chances, um, let's look at the performances of your players, I know you've been, you've been, you've been already been tipping some of them who, who had a very good season for your team, but recently a call up to the national team, you got at least eight of them. Seven, actually. Seven? Yeah, the highest, seven. We got seven, the highest, and, and that's the first time again in Watanga history. And, and of course, we can say these are seven of our best players, and we, they are currently on camp. And they are doing extremely well. We're following their progress. They are doing extremely well. The, the coaches are impressed with them. And so, what we intend to do um, as a way of preparation for the continental team, as well as our local league, is to strengthen our team. Uh, we have a very good team, but we also know that uh, once you are champion, you become the target of everyone in the league. Everyone will target you. Everyone will make sure that you big Watanga who is not the champion. And also, everyone will be looking at who can what can Watanga can Watanga break that dialogue. Can Watanga <laughs> enter into the group stage. You know, so those are things that we intend to do. So the first thing we do, we intend to recruit at least seven players. So we intend to recruit two goalkeepers, right? We intend to recruit uh, two defenders, uh, two midfielders, and an attacker. So okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, what did you did you anticipate that you have this number of players called up to the national team in, uh, in, in one set? Yeah. So, so for the performance, I mean, on a fair note, looking at what kind of performance, uh, we even deserve more than seven players. Why do you think so? Because we perform extremely well in all departments. If you look at our attack, was superb. The Mayfi was great. The defense was excellent, and the goalkeeper was. Uh, I mean. It was above excellent. So, so we knew that we have had at least seven, seven players. So we are grateful. I mean, all of the thirty players we have seven. You know, it, it's, it's a good deal we have. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you this, this question. I know there are a lot of people who probably don't see football as something to get into. It, it seems quite expensive. There's not much return to it. And a lawyer, a financial expert, still rakes and breaks the storm. You've been there. You've been there for around five years now. Yeah, five years. How 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 difficult it is to run the club in Liberia? Well, in Liberia, of course, it's, 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 it's difficult to run a club in Liberia. But um, I think we are getting there. I think Liberia is getting at a stage where we can now market our, our league. We can now market our players, and we can gain we can gain a lot of revenues from from that sales. So. As, as, as a way of doing that, you have to recruit young players. Just as I said, if you look at our team in the mid-season, we're going to young players, right? So these players can easily be sold to the European market than other guys. But you have to always... You think you can sell directly from Liberia? Well, uh, usually, 
it, for academy players, for people below 18, it's easier to sell them, you know, with the clause of 20%, whatsoever they go, because they go as a youth, as a youth player. Yeah. You get getting so in Oakland into football, five years, you've grown so well. Yeah, yeah, five years. I mean, for my level of, of comprehension, five years is sufficient enough to, to, be, okay. to, be, yeah, to, be, to be knowledgeable enough about football and considering that the critical committees that I've played, I can tell you the next two years, we will be at the top of football. So, uh, are we still talking about how costly it is? Yeah, so it's very costly school. because um, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't get much from gain it, You don't, you don't get things supporting financially. Uh, you have to pay practically from your pocket, uh, especially players. I mean, just beyond the salary, you have to see them like like your brother, your young brothers, like your kid. You know, you have to always stretch out to them so it's, it's it's costly so but we still remain it because we know that uh, there is huge profit at the end of it football is business and the best way to become uh, successful in financially is to win trophies so you see now that uh, the fact that we've won we will be going to continental level right so there'll be scalp there at that level that we'll be watching our players we expect to be so so players. probably you're not just looking at the revenue that comes to no the, no with, it's, with a, it's, it's a 10 years plan it's actually a 10 years plan we've gone five years already so in the past what i was not even thinking about about showcasing the players at the continental level now we're at that stage so the next thing that who are those that we can showcase who are those that, that are sellable? Who are those that people want to buy that can be sold? Right? Those are things that those are the next things. You have already made some money from Avin Makona. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, he's a he's, he's a he's a serious financial man. I know he's not going to let his player go on a very on a on a free yeah, on a free month. So we have things in place to ensure that yeah, we get some very good. Okay, great. Um, he's Jirata uh, Sarah. He's the President of Watanga FC and also an ex co member of the Liberal Football Association, I mean, an executive committee member. He's head of the legal committee uh, and player status committee, as well as co chair on Fan Nice at the Liberia Football Association currently. Uh, just on the eve of, of, of winning the title, uh, he, he was also elected as executive committee member of the Football Association. But before that, let's look at, let's look at how do you intend. I ask this question because you already said football is business. Business requires require customers. Customers also require a community. How do you how do you uh, uh, plan to reach out to your family? I I I was shocked when I saw that Watanga was was amassing a huge a huge fan base. In fact, not just huge fan base, but we broke the record of NFB for the first time. We got the the, the highest revenue ever. You know we. We, our last game, the turn out. The first thing was we broke the record at at, at uh, Tusafi, and then we broke our personal. We played Tusa. We, we play against Freeport FC. Freeport FC, and then when we play against uh, Club Berries on the last day. We, we made very close to uh, more than half of a million like Bernard Brothers. That's huge. It's because of the fan base. So we have a well organized fan base now. To speak to you. And just yesterday they were in my office, the leadership was in my office, having some discussion with me, having a conversation. And that's uh, how do they see what kind of in the next two, three years? Those are discussions we're having. So, for instance, we're going to be having a wars night, we're going to be having a um, yeah, it was night for Watanga. We we're going to be presenting the trophy for the first time. We're going to be calling our past presidents, we're going to be calling fans, and even you yourself will be invited. Are you are you are you going to do a, a, a trophy parade? We intend to do in the speed of the principal speed of things. You know, Watanga is is the part of things. We you know once you say Watanga, you, you, you're going to be battling guy with uh, Muska FC you know, Muska, now. You know. Muska FC cannot battle. Muska FC will be talking about surviving the first division. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Charles, 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 Charles don't come at us. Uh, uh, it's yeah. not. It's not me. I. I. No, I, I, I I'm it, saying a disclaimer. Look at the history of, of of the team in the first division. Look, look, you do you know the things that are not battering for <laughs> for relegated? That Sunny FC, heavy Levy, right? Those are things that just got promoted. We don't joke in the first division. League. If you come there, we, we we show you that we are. So so you run league. you run a fraternity in the first division. Well, a class league. That's all. <laughs> you have to. You, it's like entering into. From the championship to the Premier League, you expect to be in top four in England. You must be dreaming. You know, you must be dreaming. So we, we surely, surely we, 
we are prepared, we had a pile of, uh, of, of, of things where we intend to parade our trophies, we intend to have a well-organized program where we will generate some funds as well to help preparation for the CAF and those other, other, other things like that. How does, how does uh, uh, your firm you've been talking to, their leadership, how, 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 how does their, their presence or their contribution help this club? Are they planning on maybe paying Monday, yes. weekly, yes, and what they said. They even said to us they're going to be paying something about five hundred dollars or so, which is five hundred like dollars, yeah, dollars, which is laudable for, for that's me. closer. That's closer to three US dollars. Yeah, which is which is. Don't you think it's too much? It's I going mean, to be difficult to get. They came with our suggestion. They met. They, they have a meeting regularly. They said, look, we 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 we've seen what you're going through. Where well, we think it's about time that we come in to help you as well so that you've brought power to us. We've been with Wakanda for 25 years. We've never had the kind of joy that you've given us. We've thought the wise that, look, what can we give you back? You know, thing that is, is important. We've been giving moral support. It's important now to add the financial support to the moral support. And in that light, we've thought it wise to at least going to be a minimum of $500 each thing in addition to us. About how many things can we calculate now? Do they have a database? Yeah, they're talking about three to four, four thousand. Three to four thousand five hundred. We intend for them to be around ten thousand dollars. I mean, ten thousand before the end of the season because it's it's pain the base. You know, it was surprising that even though we cross across pain there because sometimes the last time we went to went to uh, Mangibi to play San Diego, we had a huge fan base that I said, look, we are here, we are in Mangibi, but we support you. We are your fan. Please include all in your fan base. <laughs> you know, and so we are very proud of the history city that Watanga has. Then let's cross over to the big side. I know you've been talking about how you want to push your players from across Liberia, from Liberia to the continental side, maybe finding them in big clubs across Europe or maybe in Africa. Um, let's look at it. Um, the CAF Champions League, Liberia is not a quota country, so you have to play two rounds of preliminaries. So, so where, where, where do we stand? Where does the country stand? So again, we have, we have a score, right? And we have to be as realistic as possible in our goal. Our goal for this season, uh, as a deputant, is to ensure that we, we enter the group stage. We enter this the is the first time. Yes. So that means that we have to we have to eliminate the first two teams. So we're very sure of eliminating the first team because normally the first team is a team from uh, not a, I mean we got quote unquote where a, 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 a league that is not too strong, you, you'll not be paired with maybe the South African League or maybe uh, someone from Morocco or so. Maybe you'll be Guinea, Sierra Leone or so. And then the next stage will be a tougher game. Like you saw what happened with LPRZ others and then the loss at that stage. But we intend to win at least the first two opponents and be placed into the group stage. At the group stage now, this is how it happens. The group stage seems quite uh, of a difficult place to go. Sure. How strong uh, what you want to do to get to that stage. So just as I said, beef up the scrum team, early preparation, going to training earlier, three months before. And let me tell you the secret. We intend to maintain the league, right? In order to oh, you want to take, you want to take it twice in a row? Three times. Three times. Yeah, so the best <laughs> way to maintain the league is to strengthen your team for the calf. Because once you're at calf level, the league is like a walkthrough for you. Because we're talking about training three, three, three times per day or or two times per day, five times per week, right? No club does that in Liberia. But we'll be doing it so that we reach at the level of, of, of our... It, it requires resources. Of course, that's what we said. We are very prepared. Ten, ten goals, we have seven of our players who are already on 35-day camp. So their fitness level is, is already at, at certain level. We just need to add the rest of the team to them. And I can also assure you that in beefing our strength, we're going to also be looking at the 30 players that are on camp. That's where we're going to be looking at. To recruit because it means that they, they are already been selected, it means that they have some level of quality in them. So, for instance, if I need a, if I need a red back, right, and I don't have a red back who is currently being called out the national team, the best way to look is at the national at, so, at that level. But these players at the national team are also properties, uh, they own contract of different that's clubs. Soccer. That's soccer. You have to pay money to get what you want. So, you going, are, are you going to uh, illegally approach players? No, I say you're going to pay money for what you want. You're paying because pay. if you do. Uh, uh, over financial inducement is also is well, also over financial inducement. The first thing is <laughs> <laughs> you, you, there's always bar, bar clause in, every, in every one contract, right? So and I can assure you that Watanga is prepared financially to go for also ever build. You see that in Europe, right? You heard about it just the recent transfer of of Haaland from uh, from Borussia. Borussia the to Man City. Man City that creates room for Arsenal to also take on. On, on Gabriel Jesus, I mean that's that's business, 
right? That's business. So similar thing like that will be happening. We'll be looking into the market, what we have available to us. And how can we Are you hoping to step out of Liberia to also bring in some quality to well, us? Well, for now, we can say because we believe that we have what it takes in Liberia to... to, to, to I think the Liberian talents are good. Yeah. I think, I think to compete at continental yes, level. I think we do. Because if you, if you look at the history of these clubs that have, that have made headway in, in calf competitions, they got a lot of foreign imports. I agree. But I think for now... We, we, we don't we don't see ourselves going to get for even though we have we have the, the societies from the name on the team right so they know i mean he's there as, as one of our defenders but we don't know whether we'll be team or not but he has a consistent contract with us but we don't intend to, to but you say you want to get into the group state that requires you are getting you, these players saying, like, players i'm not saying i'm not saying that, not saying that. Yeah. It's, it's it's not quite it's not quite uh, an exact science that yeah. domestic players have made these breakthroughs it's, it's for also, their clubs. There's also no guarantee that when you get foreign players, especially around Africa, that you automatically be qualified to the group stage. It all boils down to preparation and team oneness. And I think that the unity that I see in my team with the addition of few like grand players, we can do we can do better. We can enter the group stage. So what kind of player what kind of players you want for your team? Well well we already my, my, my team, I already set, set a benchmark, right? In order to build true to my team, <laughs> you have to be an excellent player. So, for instance, I said we are recruiting two, diff two, two goalkeepers because if you notice that we ended the league with one goalkeeper, our, we have three goalkeepers, one of our goalkeeper died. He died in a tragic motor accident. Our other goalkeeper had an incident that broke his, his, his tabia. So, we ended the league with one goalkeeper. So, there's a space for, for two goalkeepers that wanted to be recruited. So well, definitely we could two best two good goalkeeper that can compete, right? Similarly, we we, we will be retiring some players, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will be, we're not going to call the names now, but there are some players <laughs> that will be retired. So <laughs> some of the some of the players that won the title, with you of course now everyone that won the title will be for for the championship. I mean that that that, they, that even the players themselves know now everyone that win that win that won the trophy will be going to the cup. So we're going to be recruiting players. Just as I said, we're going to recruit minimum of seven players. We need to we need to strengthen our, our, our the department the, the attacking force we need to strengthen the the, the midfield we also need to bring in defenders as well as goalkeeper. We, we are going for the best. Actually. I will ask you about your player for the season for Watanga, but let me ask you this question: uh, It's been speculated that uh, the man who handed you the title has just walked away. No, um, well, I, we can't say he's walked away because we we actually had a half season contract with him and the season and, and season and and Latte. Yeah. So you know Rabo Latte came in the mid mid season. Yeah. So we signed a short term deal to see his performance and then after we negotiate. So a contract ended uh, after we carried the trophy and then we are in negotiation with him. He's hoping to come back to Watanga. He he's enjoyed playing with us. He appreciated the fact that we brought him back to the touch line and gave him the glory that he needed. Uh, that he deserved. Equally so, he gave what we wanted. He, he's a man who knows the league. He but, knows the league very but, well. But, uh, but we can show you that uh, if, if all doesn't go well, we we'll also go for the best. There are other coaches that can do But we, we get the speculation that uh, he signed a deal with uh, one of your rivals. Well, he, he, we, we just had a conversation two days ago and he showed me that uh, yes, they are in consultation, but he thinks that we are the first choice and my rival. Do you want to keep him? We want to keep him. We want to keep him. We do all we can, we can keep him. But, we, we we will do all we can to keep him. We've had loud conversation with him, uh, but 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 I'm going to meet him like um, tomorrow. Or tomorrow I'm going to have a conversation again to conclude on whether you want to remain or not. There are a lot of cups. There are a lot of things important on the table. We're going to look at the pros and cons and see. Uh, but equally so, you know, we have to be careful financially. You don't want to sign a commitment with a coach that you cannot fulfill. Considering the league, yeah. This might be a heartbreak to the Watanga fans if you don't if you don't keep the gaffer who hand you the the tattoo. Well. But of course, there will be some some Watanga players of some Watanga fans who will be disappointed. But we assure you that if we don't keep him, we'll go for a coach with similar potential in the Latin League. We don't want to call him. Are you not also stepping out? No, you must always have a plan B. You must always have the best time to find a job is when you have a job. Similarly, the best time to find an alternative when you already when, when you have one because you don't want to be caught with your pants down. So, of course, we, we have a great conversation with him. We respect that. We know that he will seal up the contract and he will be our coach for the next time. Because you already started playing with the team. You already started telling us the department, the kind of players that you want to bring in. So, we have a good conversation with him. Who was your, who was your man for Watanga for the season? Well, 
I don't know whether I should be answering this question because you know there is this big award coming up, the the LFA award. No, you should be. Yeah, it's your I'll, team. I'll, I'll, you got the awards yeah, coming up also. I'll, I'll get to you. And, you know, and we have many of our players who will be strong contender. I don't want uh, say they they have to prejudice the the award. But personally, right? Personally, if you ask me as president of Atanga, yeah, that's cool. watching the games from game one to game twenty two. Who do I think is my best player? I will tell you friendly is Chelsea Freeman. Chelsea? Yeah, Chelsea Freeman. He's sometimes he's sometimes guilty of criticism that uh, yeah, I think he, he overdo and sometimes. Because of statistics, statistics spoke to that he 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 was the higher goal scorer and he gave the higher assist. Absolutely. He done. played the most meaningful Matanga. So no one played more games than Ted Ted Francis. A very hard work on the team. He plays as central. <laughs> Uh, center forward, he play on the side, even at times or even using his wing back. So he played three different positions this season. Wow, he's drew his house off to Chelsea Freeman. That's the president of Watanga FC, um, that tech uh, case uh, he's the uh, legal committee chairperson of the Liberia Football Association. Uh, that's the standing committee and also uh, the coach of Fan at the executive committee level and also can I say player status committee? Yeah, too much low, too committee. too much low to handle. Too much low to talk about. Let's take a break now. We come back. We get deeply into what he's taking to the Liberia Football Association. Welcome back to On The Board. This is Inter Sports Flash program. Today is our meeting edition and we are privileged to have uh, Mr. Jidateki Sayo. He's the uh, president of uh, current league champions, Watanga FC. They waited 25 years, 1997 to 2022, before they were able to lay their hands on a silverware. Today we're talking about the club. We've gone deep inside the club, the plans and what, where they kick pain in helping the club to reach at this height in Liberian football. Now, we're going to be switching to him as a person. Just a day after Watanga were crowned as champions, he took uh, a step into executive committee elections of the Football Association. And there was something that a lot of people, I can't remember the last elections, a lot of people came forward to say that you need to contest the elections. You need to contest the elections. This is the time for you to get to the elections. But uh, he turned them down disappointingly. Eh? But this time he thought that I should get that team. Got there around, around 32 votes? 35. 35 votes, uh, making him one of the, one of the highest uh, earners in the, in the executive committee elections. All of 15 candidates? Yeah. Yeah, all of 15 candidates in the process. So congratulations and uh, a good way to get into football. Thank you. Deeper and deeper. Sure. And there he's been awarded, um, awarded? No, selected to, to chair the, uh, the legal committee. He's also actually at law and also he's uh, a financial expert. Uh, an auditor, in fact, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, he's also co chair on the finance committee. But one huge committee he also chairs is the player status committee. One that has to do with the people who play the game every day. What are the issues surrounding them? So. Let's talk about football. Let's talk about what's happening. Um, how, do you, how, how did you come? How did you come in, uh, to terms with uh, football stakeholders to get elected at, at, at that at that height? Well, so um, just as I said, four years ago we were contacted. Like, look, um, there's a need to to, to represent uh, football at the level of the EC. And we said no, we think that we, we were not prepared at that time. We needed to focus on our club, making sure that our five, five year strategy plan is, is, is realized before we can take the next step into, into, into the LFA. And then uh, we established SIPA, right? <coughs> yeah, well, SIPA. Yeah, the Club President Association of Liberia. Yeah. And then, so we said to SIPA to ourselves that look, uh, SIPA will decide who becomes. Is SIPA that issue? Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we said, look, uh, Guys, if SIPA decide that we are one of the candidates or we one of the candidates to, to represent them, we will definitely be. So there's this arrangement that says um, two, three, three first division president, three second division president, you know, and two 
one female and one and, and one uh, affiliate on CPAT ticket. Go about the great CPAT ticket, mm. right? And so we're selected along with uh, with, with uh, um, uh, Makona, Tikle Makona, yeah, right, and then, yeah, and then Avin Brown as the as the, as, the, as the candidate for the first division side to represent. So once we got the blessing, we knew that we have what it takes, you know, as an individual to make sure that we speak to the consciousness of the. Uh, of the voters, uh, knowing that we, we we have a unique skill that um, no one else will contest in hand, which is the legal background uh, that we brought to, to the table. So it was easy to sell ourselves because we said, look, you have none of the legal committees at the level of the of the, of, of the LFA. We don't want to be co-opting people because we don't have them in, we don't have some quality in, you know, at the level of the EC. So there is a need to elect people that have we are complete the executive committee. That complete the appointment in special special need that, that is needed at the level. So I mean, we spoke to the conscience of the voters, and it's solid need to let us or one minute, and that we are grateful for. We got elected. We went to um, the executive committee meeting, and president knowing our CV, requested for our CV, and when he saw the CV, he said, "Oh, this is what I'm looking for." Uh, the player started committee, very critical committee, as you stated. Uh, I'll get into that committee later. Yeah, we'll get and to then it. the legal committee, of course, I could chair the finance committee as well. But I mean, it's just fair enough to be co-chair when you already have a financial person as well in presence of, of human being. Okay, so let me, let, let, let me ask you this question. What burden does it place on your head, heading uh, two committees and co-chair for one of them? Well, it's an added, it's an added burden, of course, but I see it as an added advantage so that I, I have improved football in those by working on the committees and uh, there are a lot of work to be done and i realize uh, but it's a teamwork because i have great members of my committee who are also uh, uh, willing to work and dedicate that time and with the level of technology we have with the level of inspiration we bring the level of uh, background we bring we think that um, we going to use less time to do more work less time to do more work yeah. what does that what does that say it's, it, it means that we're going to work smart uh, for instance, uh, you, 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 we are in a digital type world now. We don't need to be physically at LFA before you work. You can organize a, a WhatsApp chat group and communicate more information there, meet a committee members, and even have a, a you know, conversation. I mean, we have to think beyond the box. We have to, we're going to be looking at uh, federal laws. How do we do that? Do we need to meet? No, we can share the information around. People can make that input and track changes and you move forward. So we're going to work smart because we already work smart at our federal offices for the past 15 years. A lot of people want to probably know exactly what are the functions of these various committees. So, for instance, the finance committee that I quote here um, is an emergency committee, meaning it's, it's one of the four committees that one of the four um, persons, so the chair on finance the, and the two deputies along the president always meet in the absence of the executive committee. So you're responsible to the like, <coughs> policy that relates to financial management as well. So you're looking at financial procedures, you're looking at, uh, you're looking at how things are run in the, in the finances, and you know, the core of every institution is, is finance. Once you have finance that is properly managed, <laughs> right, you have an institution that is properly run, that is, that is properly run. So that's, that's that. Then you look at the legal committee. That committee is supposed to look at all of our laws in, like, in, 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 in LFA. How, 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 how those laws are, what impact they have on our players. How can we review them? How can we amend them? For instance, we went to the, to the um, extraordinary congress. There was some amendment that was done, right? Yeah. Also, amendment I was done. So the legal committee now look, need to look at the laws and see how they can be fitted into our current law so that the amended version can be sent out to stakeholders, the review stakeholders. So it's all about looking at federal laws. Then you come to the most important <laughs> committee, which is the <laughs> standard committee. That committee is the committee of work. As I speak to you, I haven't even started work, but I have more than five to six complaints already on my decks. Because that can be talks about about players, about our day to day. You know, most of our players are not literate. I mean, that's that's the past. So, in fact, most of them are little So, most of them sign contracts and they don't even know the intertos of it, they don't even know the details about those contracts that they sign. Then they don't want to get it and say, No, I didn't mean to sign such a contract. You already signed the contract. Yeah. So, those are things that we're going to be looking at. We have many of those on our decks now. So, we tend to we use our, our legal skill in making sure that we expeditiously uh, deal with those cases so that, so that each and every side can feel that yes, they are. They've been or called it something called due processing. Uh, uh, let, let, let's talk about let's talk about the issue of finances. It's something that 
a lot of people kind of got always sight on the last time the football association was on a financial embargo and a praise to praise to God we were able to be relief after this new administration um, do we have financial fair play regime at the football association you've been there for just a uh, few months I think so I think you know prior to prior to me serving as coach on the committee last last four years I was also a member of that committee okay yeah so I worked with with the committee and and we as part of um, the deliverables that were needed to be lifted uh, in order for it to be lifted from that bound we needed to put in structure financial structure that, that that FIFA could be comfortable with so that tomorrow they can come and do audit and say yes we come to with the structure as well as the input I mean the output so we we look at the financial management manual of the LFA we have designed a manual to like it conforms to modern day real reality. And then the manual is like the book, it's like what tells you what to do and on a day to day basis. When you go by that manual and then you you, you are seeing So the football association has its own manual. Yeah, so it's has its own manual and we're gonna be looking at it again so it's a new community because you know after every four years there are things that changes in the international community, you have to adopt to those changes too as well so that it, so that you conforms to, to reality. So we're gonna be looking at it again. And then we have good personnel as a Montgomery who's the Secretary General and I worked together along with ten, fifteen years ago. He so said he has a good financial background, he's an auditor. Right, and so he brought stability as well to, to, to Does the FA has financial stability? Uh, well, I said financial stability all depends on what do you mean when you say financial stability. But I'm talking about when I speak of financial stability, I'm talking about in the procedure, in the way they handle they handle their their their, their, their transaction. So for instance, if as is no more there today or I'm no more there, anyone that comes in, you know that from what you need to do to raise a voucher to what you need to do to to the time you, you, you are expanding the expansion that's given to you. I mean, there's a whole procedure that you follow. But in terms of, term of financial stability, we know that uh, the FA depends heavily on CAF as well as FIFA support, with minimum support from the government of Liberia and uh, the local league. You were on the committee. How, how, how transparent the financial system has been? Have, have the FA been hooked off? Uh, sure. Issue of corruption sure, sure. <coughs> or misappropriation sure. sometimes? For the last four years, yes, we are. That's why you see great improvement. That's why you see a lot of subventions coming in. If we're not out of the hook, um, I can tell you that there will be a lot of issues with the clubs. And this, for the first time in our history, uh, we've been receiving a lot of funds as, as, club, as club direct support from CAF and, and, and FIFA. It's because of the financial. Uh, because of the level of financial, yeah, financial fair play region. Yeah, because of the level of financial transparency that is being instilled at the level of the FA. And we must say kudos to Mustafa Raji and the financial team there. Great. That's about the legal side of the player status committee. I know it's something that that is very huge in Liberia. There are a lot of complaints, there are a lot of contracts, issues with the players, managers and stuff. But let's talk about players first. You said you've got already seven complaints. What are what you you you've been managing clubs? What have been be what have you been hearing as it relates to players were fed, clubs and players arrangements and and so forth? So I think the first thing is about the nature of the contract itself. I think we need to have a standardized contract for clubs. We need to help clubs to design a contract so that it covers so that it takes care of uh, basic things that are needed for every for every club and for every. Player, so that it starts the issue about uh, people running for dispute resolution because they don't understand the nature of it, they don't have insurance into the contract. Why it's near to be insurance into, into a basic, into, a, into a, a mere generic so called contract. So that's the first basic. So we intend to to have workshops, series of workshops with clubs, uh, president, secretary general, so that we take a look at what they have as a contract, see whether it, 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 it encompasses what is actually needed, you know. Um, for a contract. So after that, the next thing is to, 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 to have a series of interactions with the players themselves. Most of them, they are not literate. Most of them, they don't read and write. So and they sign contracts unknown to them. And then the thing that either 
they have been cheated or maybe they have been cheated but they feel that they've been cheated because is that something you like to propose that players who are illiterate yes, or probably yes. not manage uh, should seek should seek yes, should seek uh, help from the football association sure, sure. before they sign before, before they sign, sign contracts before they sign contracts even though those contracts are sent, are sent to the FA but the FA is, is cannot be a player unless there's issue in waste, right? So as a means of, of curtailing that, I mean of reducing uh, the level of, of, of complaint coming in, there's a need to have uh, each of them represented and maybe ethic will help in that in that line. But it's serious. It's serious. It will, it will be most you to know that there are people who signed uh, uh, one year, they think that they signed one year, but it actually signed five years, you know. Say, no, I can't say I signed one year. So you, I say five years. You, I, you, know, you, so you, you look, you are heading this committee. Mm -hmm. uh, this is fraud. Uh, whoever is involved, the player says they sign one year and there's five years. Yeah. And the player probably wants to cheat the club and say I signed one year, but they actually signed five years. Yeah, it, it, knowing it, Will there be punishments lined up for for these offenses because it's kind of serious it has to do with people integrity and institutions like football clubs sure you know it's it, it, it on two sides right so there are times that a club can say no this is inside five years but players can say look we had an agreement there's something called private evidence in contract there is something outside of the contract where you had a conversation and you expect it to go into the contract so you and outside them we agree look it's one year, yeah, if you want that. Do the contract for one year. You do a contract and then it's five years and I sign knowing that it's one year. So you are also at fault too as well. You are also at fault. So those are things that we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at look uh over agreement that led into written agreement should always be consistent as per the law. So it's not just about only the players wanting to cheat, it's also it could be the, the team also wanting to cheat the players too as well. <coughs> to avoid all those things to have a manager, somebody who will read through your contract. You could also be given a contract for a day or so, so that you peruse the contract, take it to your, your manager, he reviews it, give it, give it signature to show that yes, he's a view of the terms and conditions in it, and then before you sign. That's one of the issues. Another issue that is, that is keep coming up has to do with um, foreign players, especially feed the league, right? Foreign players coming to play in our league, expecting huge compensation as per the contract and getting the compensation because, you know, the female league is less limited than in our league, yeah. you know. And then, uh, but if you bring a foreign players, you have to do the work permit, which is about five, I mean, one thousand dollars yeah. for work permit. Besides the, the, uh, the, how do you call it? The work permit or something else, uh, resident permit. Residence yeah, permit. Yeah, resident permit as well. So you will be spending more than a thousand, thousand, three hundred dollars to keep the person here. It's huge, right? So you come with a huge, you know, request. Look, I, I need you. You can play. You can leave your person come, and maybe you, you can live up to that. What happens next? We have to hold the club responsible. If the player breaches, as well, we have to hold the player responsible. But how can we avoid these things from happening? So in order to reduce my work, we need to stop these things from happening rather than to be so we are proactive, right? Rather than to be. So those are some of the things we're going to do. That will require a lot of education. That will require a lot of consultation, a lot of meetings. So, so, so in short, a lot of, a lot of clubs um, unknowingly mm -hmm. get into problems. Sure, sure. So it happens. It happens a lot. It happens a lot. Unknowingly get into problems, not planning properly, knowing that uh, your total revenue, you know, is far less than what you anticipate. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you can just leave up to that. Okay, great. Okay, great. Um, thanks for driving us through. Maybe in the, in, the, in the last 10 minutes, we talk about football development. Maybe look at the national team, where we go from here. Let's talk about the, the Football Association, uh, the Football for All initiative. That was something we thought to talk, about, talk to uh, the president about. Uh, fortunately, he had to travel to, to East Africa. You'll be back uh, to, to be right here on the program. But tell us that vision. Is it working four years down the road? And the agenda remains the same. Well, we have a change now, right? Uh, I'm sure you're talking about the, the youth development? Yeah, the football for women, football, women football uh, competition, competition, youth football, and everything football. inclusive. Yeah. Uh, I think if you look at the, the new, the new uh, EC committee, especially there's some change now. You have new faces coming on. 
Uh, I think the major Johnson coach has been appointed to the under 15 league mm -hmm. last year. I also think um, Samuel Sinyani is appointed under 17, and then you have Julie Siton who is sharing the women's soccer. So these are a couple of people that bring new breed, that bring in uh, uh, new ideas, and let's see what happens. So let 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 let, let, let that judge them, you know. But the past four years, because the four years are already gone. I'm sure the president can speak more to that when he come in. But uh, as a new executive committee member, I would like to tell you that um, in the next one year, coming back here, and let's see, then look at what we've done in one year to ensure that football for all is is is, is at certain. But level. you think football has has taken an upward sure. an upward sure. uh, sure. paradigm? I mean, I mean, I mean, everyone, even even someone with our eyes who's blind, have seen that uh, football on, on this region has gone in another level. And especially what's, what's happening? Especially, to, what's happening? To, I, I can see it. Especially, I can see it. But what's happening to football? Especially the playing pitch. Look, if if considering the level of improvement in the playing pitch, right? That you see today, Watanga is not saying they are champion. In the past, Watanga was practicing on a, a, a feed there called Afa Utamba feed. It's a racket fee. You know what happened to me? After every two months, I was buying boots from the players. After every two months, I was buying footballs because football goes into the community, you don't get the football back. So every two months, I was buying football. I was treating players regularly every month because the fee is racket and the angle was always, always having issues. But with the, with the, with the, with the practice ground, where we practice as well as play our games, things have been very, very good for us. That's why you see we practice there and we play there. That's why it's almost impossible to be Watanga at the practice ground. And that's what led us to do so That's a home ground. Yeah, that's a home ground. And now only Watanga, look at football that's, and, and, and Liska, that is now playing at the Tusa field, right? Look, for the lower division, the second division, uh, Nima FC and other clubs use, use uh, 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 the George Weah Technical Stadium, right? So you can see, if infrastructure-wise, we have improved. You and I had an interview about the new headquarters, right? I was just speaking with the Secretary General and told me that, look, I need to pass there because I know that in the next one, two months now, we'll be moving to the new headquarters. Mm. That's the first time in the history of, of football in Liberia, right? A $1.5 million structure just for football alone, I mean, that alone has added value to soccer in Liberia. So yes, from all from all aspects, we can safely say that uh, football is is definitely at another level. But another thing we speak about is that look look at the look at the, the intake that we are receiving. As I said to you, for the first time, we've made almost a half of a million, unprecedented in Liberia soccer, and we will make more. And I can show you that the next the, our next target is to show that. Well, we what's happening million. with that? Why you think there are more intakes? You said that the clubs are playing more attractive of games. Of course, right? we are playing more attractive football. It was. For instance, my brother, who you usually call me Floyd, Floyd, was in that game, and that was the first time since many years, and he was very impressed. He said, "Oh, I didn't know that's how that how good, you know, and that how that how, that how good uh, like soccer is." He's a fan of Liverpool, and he loves to see people yeah. soccer. But he said, "Look, oh, I'm very impressed. He even he had two players. I said, personally, I'm going to be responsible for these players. That how attractive like soccer has because all get the world, the quality of pitches." The quality of, of officiating as well as uh, the quality of, 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 of management that we put into, into, into soccer. So, yes, the referees? Yes, I mean, they are. Not because you've won the title, it means that. I mean, not because you've won no, the not because. Even, even though I won, <coughs> but there were some times that I had issues with referee. And we saw referee being suspended at, um, during, along the, the course of, of, of the, the tournament. So, we just need to continue to chastise them, have harsher punishment for them. Maybe. Uh, one of the issues can be is usually look you only penalize the referee. What happened to the points? Maybe it's something we need to look at, right? So when when it's deliberate and the referee cheated, and we all saw that look as far as <laughs> one game and I don't win it. But it's you don't you don't you don't institute regulations that contravene international law. I agree. So 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 what? So what so that yeah. So the results don't the change. Results don't change. But then maybe maybe we will give harsher punishment to to, to the referees. So what what the referees have done? We have a lot of complaints. We have complaints uh, from the second division league, from the first division league, where referee bar officiating, they bar, they bar the officiated, even though they said uh, maybe it's because of lack of training or so. But these are some FIFA bad referees that that, that make, even though uh, no one is is, is is infallible, but some errors are too grave. And the good thing is that thanks to you guys who record all of the games, and so we can always go back and ask for 
the game between Watanga and Fibo FC, for instance, you can give me the game and I will always see and do a replay. I even heard that you do three times replay now, the first time in Liberian history. And, you know, and that's yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah, so that really helps us now to go back and sit down and look and, and, and look and say, look, these are the areas of revenue I'm getting. Even the revenue itself, knowing that you guys now have a watchdog on them, they'll be more careful. So we expect to see improvement next year with the level of technology that you, you've brought to the league. Let's talk about, uh, we, we, we are actually trying to bring more uh, with time, I think we can do our part. Yeah, it's I, about see that, what I see, I think you have the ability to move forward. Okay, so let, 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 me ask, let me ask about relationship with the Football Association president and what is that going to come into me? Because no man is an island. I think it's very cordial. It's very, very cordial. And in fact, that's why I'm here where three cardinal committees, as you can see. That shows the level of confidence uh, the president imposes me. He, he has great respect for me, like I do with him. In fact, people see him as an ally to Watanga, so, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the, and the, and the and Kwame. They are in, they, you cannot separate them easily, so, so you know, I'm the president of, of, of Watanga. But he's, he's a great guy to work with, and for the short time we spend together, I enjoy working with him. How, how easy was it for you to get into football? Well, it was very, it was, it was very easy because uh, I have been a long of football. Originally, I'm a fan of IE. Just yeah. Original, yeah. Original. I don't know you don't feel about Barrow as well, so if that's a fact. No, 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 no. I don't I don't I don't I don't mean to say <laughs> I don't want to be biased yeah, in this. this. Originally because uh there's this tradition that went from the southeast because of George We are We are recording this one. Yeah, yeah. So we got we so, Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna I mean, keep it on you. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> take we're gonna <laughs> take you when I E or Tanga in a critical no, position. It, 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 listen. Like the England, when you born in London, say about London, automatically you, you are a fan of, of say, Chelsea or, or Arsenal. That does not mean you cannot go even play for another club. You saw it happening to, to a lot of players that we can name. So, originally, but then uh, I, I felt that uh, Watanga needed something different. I felt that it's easier to manage Watanga than I. I felt that, look. Why is it difficult to manage Invisible Eleven? Because of traditional club, you have too many, <laughs> <laughs> too many complications that, that even if you, if you call San Jose, the San Jose line will tell you some of the complications. But I'm very happy that, uh, that I made the right choice to go to Watanga to break the history, to break the record for the first time in that history. And, and I'm very proud of him. Okay, great. He wants to stay at Watanga FC for the next 10 years. He said he has 10 years strategic yeah, plans. So. Nobody knows where he goes next. Five, five, are, you, are you planning to be president of the LFA? That I can say now. Uh, presidency is calling. Oh. Yeah, presidency is calling. You can't, you can't, well, one minute say. And exactly, you're already an executive committee yeah, member. executive committee member, so I'm already serving. And the, the status is you can serve for three terms. So let me, let me focus on that for now. And, and, and self well, <laughs> and, self -aware. and I can assure you that uh, I have what it takes to, to self well in my capacity in those three uh, areas that being appointed by the president. Well, player status committee, legal committee, and finance committee. But you are only passionate about inter sports, Nadia. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Sort of was uh, for the first time in Liberia. I thought I was in Europe, you know. I thought I was in super sport. So I said to myself, maybe I'm in South Africa, you know. And and and, and I'm very very impressed. You guys are doing a marvelous job. Uh, I don't know whether whether uh, there's any of such even in the sub region, you know. But you, you you've done a marvelous job. Keep on the good work, and we we, we are here to support you. And if there's any way we can support you from the LFA side, we know the president arms are open. Let the LFA community members you have you have great guys there that love a lot of improvement, a lot of great deals that you are doing. So you can count on us and we just want to say keep all the good work uh, and you do an extremely good job. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for coming. He's a uh, uh, flawed, not flawed. I always you know flawed is flawed. Let, let me confess that flawed is a man that is very close to me. He's okay. a friend. Ah, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we talk regularly. So I like I like always taking <laughs> off. Uh, but uh, yeah. Dr. Uh, Kesa, he's the president of Watanga FC. He's he's having three two different committees and co-chair for one of the. Those are those are serious committees, right? Uh, almost like uh, the Minister of Finance, yeah. the Minister of Justice, yeah. and, uh, and, and 
the, the chief justice. justice. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, justice. so, yes. Yeah, so, in football, he's a legal committee. He's yeah. a player status committee. Yeah. And he's also co-chair yeah. for for the finance committee yeah. at the at the Liberia Football Association executive committee. We want to say many thanks to you for watching. Don't miss out. On the ball comes every Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. This is the time we go deep into Liberian football to tell you the stories. Don't forget, we'll also be talking about some of these amazing athletes that are playing for Liberia across the world. We'll be bringing some of them right here live so we can be able to know who are those Liberian players that are making headway. But this is exclusively a football show. Inter Sports is here for every sports in Liberia. Don't forget, we will also line up our sporting programs for all of the sports in Liberia. Remember, we've got 23 different sporting disciplines in Liberia, and this is our dream to be able to reach across to all of these sporting disciplines because if you know that Liberia has a sporting president, True Sports, George, we have become president of Liberia. On behalf of the entire team, my name is Moses. Thanks for watching, and we say we're here because of the passion of sports.